a journey to where nature is at her most magnificent and forbidding. To mysterious places where dazzling and diverse cultures flourish. Where China's numerous ethnic groups draw you into a world of color and vibrancy. Where distinct lifestyles, traditions and crafts have survived the test of time. Join Travelogue on its 17-part ethnic odyssey, visiting more than 100 places across China. Ethnic Odyssey, an enlightened look at China's rich ethnic heritage. On this episode of Travelogue, the Li minority of the subtropical paradise Hainan let the craftiness of their hands and the beauty of their song and dance sweep us away to. Variety of China's landscape, diversity of its people. Welcome to Travelock, the ethnic series. We're in Hainan. We welcome you come to visit us. We have great Li people, and they will show you the music and dance. The Li minority resides in the subtropical paradise, the Li Miao Autonomous Prefecture in Hainan. With a population of 1.3 million, the ethnic group consists of five branches, which speak different dialects, wear different costumes, and have other regional differences. However, their common ancestors can be traced back to a branch of the ancient Bai Yue tribe, who once lived in the southern China. These people immigrated to Hainan over 3,000 years ago, making them the earliest settlers of Hainan. Inspired by the natural environment and their creations, the boat-shaped cottages and suburb songs and dance are world-renowned. Their architect and art forms live up the atmosphere and bring you into their unique world. We're here just in time for the March 3rd festival which is the most famous Li celebration. Originally, the festival's purpose was to ask for blessing for the harvest of crops. The legend is that in ancient times, a major flood brought death to many Li people living by the Qianghua River in Hainan. Only two lovers survived, who were washed away to Mount Yanwu. On March 3rd of the lunar calendar, the water receded and they married. Here, they made textiles, raised children, planted crops and fished, and became the first Li people. To commemorate them, Li people gathered by the Changhua River every March 3rd to sing and remember. Gradually, this gathering evolved into a traditional festival during which young people of the Li villages interact and search for suitable lovers. People make preparations for the festival weeks in advance. Women start cooking and young men hunt in the forest. They will get back to the village on the festival talk about their experience and show off their bravery to try to get girls' favor. During the festival of love, people organize song and dance parties. In the evening, young men and girls sit around the campfires by the waters on the tops of mountains to sing and dance together. The girls are dressed in fine jewelry and multicolored clothing and the men wear red bands on their waists. On this big dating scene, the girls and boys express their emotions in song. The sweet love songs start out gentle and lyrical to being bold and unreserved. If both parties feel like it's a good match, they exchange small totems to make arrangements for the next date. During the holidays, 
These people are surrounded by song, dance, archery, and many recreational activities, and festival fills the air. Today, March 3rd festival has become, in some sense, a huge pageant of the minority group. For the young men and women, it's a chance to find that special someone. For the elders, it's time to get busy cooking, doll up their daughters, and have some fun with community. For tourists, it's a chance to see the life in its purest form. Well, <clears throat> early morning like this, sometimes I hate myself. I need to get up earlier because behind me this beautiful called Five Fingers Mountain, you got the shape like five fingers, which is famous, famous in Hainan. And here is the hotel they have like uh, you know morning tea. And if I can get up earlier. Then I can see the sunrise, the trail just right behind me. I can take the trail, get up top of the mountain, enjoy the best of views such as the sunrise. Many Li people live in the area surrounding that famous Five Finger Mountain in central Hainan, the highest mountain in the province. The mountain gets its name from its waving peaks that appear like the five fingers. The mountains are representative of Hainan, and there are many legends surround its existence. One legend has it that the five pigs are the fossilized fingers of a dead Li clan chief. Another tale is that the five pigs are dedicated to the five most powerful Li gods. Because of the mild climate in Hainan, the mountain is rich in vegetation and wildlife. If you choose to climb the mountain, you will surely notice the misty mountain tops, layer upon layer of lush greenery and diversity of animal species. It is archetypical Chinese beautiful mountain. Next, we had to Chu Bao Li Village, the most completely presented Li Village, where we can see local farming life. It is located in the city of Wujishan, Maoyang County, to the west of Five Finger Mountain. Here, local Li people go about their traditional ways of life, living in houses that look like overturned boats. The Li nationality lives mainly on agriculture. Hainan is in subtropical zone with fertile lands and abundant rainfall, very suitable for agriculture. The area is the country's major producer of tropical crops like coconut, pineapples, cocoa, coffee, palm oil, cashews, mangoes, and bananas. Besides agriculture, other industries such as hunting, handicrafts, fishing, commerce, and forestry also play an important role in their economy. It's not that easy to find an original uh, village like us to have people using their traditional house and materials. Now we found it 
right here. And the, here is the entrance of this village. It's a little village you only have 84 families. Actually, I was told you can count those little houses. Behind me, the house is not for them to live in or for them to stock their food. Or it's like their rice every like fall. After that, every house, every family have a little house here. So stock their you know food for a whole year. So you by counting those little houses, you know how many people living there. And I am gonna go in to find out. Actually, those are really their house. There's a little entrance to go in. Now we're officially get into now we're officially get into the village and now we check out how they live. This is a very natural Lee ethnic group. They've been living here for years. They still keep the traditional way. Everything is from material. We talk about the construction, uh, structure of the house. Everybody leaving a structure like this. We can see, I was told, all the material was, you know, brought from the mountain here, like a bamboo, of course. And then you have lots of straws on the ceiling, so that's protect the rain and wind. Oh. And then there's like a wood, it's like a tree branch as the structure and between they used a bamboo cut its really really thin band and wrap it around to hold all the constructors no nails no other materials but the wood and bamboo and straw all the three materials from the mountain right here so very strong actually For some people, living in boats all year round is common. However, these boats ain't your typical boats, because rather than in the water, they remain on land. The roofs of these houses are supported with three trunks, and the walls are made of knotted bamboo straps, coated with mud. The unique houses of the Li are designed to withstand the storms that hit the tropical island. Take a guess. 